Hi chemistry students, um, here's just a short video of some of the things that need to be incorporated into your final project. So as you can see here, I made my um, presentation into a PDF. Um, you can do that. If yours ends up having videos in it, um, then you'll just have to share the link with us um, in Google Classroom. Um, mine is very simple. Yours is going to need to incorporate a few other things. But what I wanted to show you is you can clearly see all the text. Nothing is super small. Um, all the fonts are easy to read. I have my name here. So you would want your name, your group members. I also want you to um, include your group roles. Um, so who was in charge of what when you guys were working together as a group. Um, you're going to come up with a name for you know, a title for your um, project. Um, I do want you to incorporate a purpose um, or you know sort of like an abstract as you would um, about what your project has to do with. Um, I do want you to have some images embedded into your final project as well. Um, you see I have examples here of the types of bonds we've talked about in class. You can incorporate that as well. Um, I would ask that you guys um, in your own presentations incorporate a little explanation about each. I have a picture um, in the name of each type. Um, for you to receive full credit, I'd want a little bit about each type of bond um, and how those reflect into our um, um, nutritional facts that you'd be discussing. Um, it should not be too wordy. Um, you see I have a little paragraph here. Yours is going to be a little bit longer and can include a little more text, but ultimately your final uh, presentation um, that you'll be submitting should be kind of like just the basics and then you'll go into more detail when you present it to me and your classmates. Um, so you should not be reading word for word from your um, presentation. Um, you should be building off of it and it should have, if I were to give your presentation to um, someone, they should understand what it has to do with, um, but they shouldn't have everything from it. Um, they should need you there to kind of explain um, the details um, regarding your presentation and your research. Um, you should also include your references and the resources that you used in the correct APA format. Um, that would be, I'd ask you to do it at the very end or on the back if you do it into a PDF um, or print it out. Um, but it shouldn't be too wordy and there should be nice images in there that are clear to see as you can see in mine. Um, this is just a guidelines, um, you know, uh, as a video, but you should also reference the guidelines I have on our um, Google Sites page that has them clearly listed out with everything that you should include in your final presentation to receive full credit or to go above and beyond to receive an even better score. Um, and you know you can always email me with questions um, and I'm excited and look forward to seeing your final projects.